Hey guys, welcome to the Computer Made Simple. Today we will talk about routers and why it is important to have a router in your home environment network. So this is a Linksys Wireless N router. It features the newest and fastest wireless technology these days. This router is still fairly old, I think it's three years old. Uh, I've recently replaced it with a newer router. Now. Why is it important to have a router in your home network? Well, actually, a home router is actually three things in one. It's a router, it's a switch, and it's an access point at the same time. So you're going to say, oh, well, I only have one computer, so do I really need to, to do this? Well, actually, as you can see, the yellow port on the back is a switch part, and the antennas are actually acting as the access point. So basically, the switch part is splitting your internet connection into four different connections so I can have four computers uh, connected and here I have my personal switch on my desk which can split an internet connection into eight connections and the access point part of the router is actually what's giving wireless connectivity to my house so basically I plug my internet connection into my blue port on the back of the router and then the wireless is the access point part of the router the yellow ports is a switch and the actual router is only the inside so what does the router do a router actually decides what goes in and out of my network so what does that mean that means well we'll explain it with a little a drawing a little further on but that means it controls what goes in and out so it's actually acting as the firewall the firewall decides what comes in the network and what goes out so that means if I'm plugging my computer directly to the wall, that means it's open to attacks from anybody and anybody can just send anything to my computer and my computer cannot filter it. So the router is acting as a filter to that spam, viruses, or any junk sent. So here we can see my IP address for my computer from the outside world is 70.26.109. something. Now the IP address of my personal computer at the bottom there is 192.168.139.1 now why are these addresses different oh by the way this is epic sax guy I love this guy so here we can see I'm gonna fix that it's 70 dot something dot something dot something and it's surrounded in the blue internet cloud that means information coming from there I don't know where it comes from but this is the address to get to my house so basically it's my house address for the internet. So this address goes through my router and once it crosses my router it becomes that 192 dot something dot something dot something address and for my computer it's 168.139.1 so this is my private network. So basically anything that's being sent to my home address has to go through my router and then my router acts as a firewall. Here you can see my awesome representation of a firewall. So the router filters what comes in to my personal network. Anything going to my internet, my outside address, they have no clue what's inside my network. They don't know how many computers are connected to it. They don't know what's there. They don't know what's being sent there. All they know is they have to go through the router. The router is my gateway. It's my gatekeeper. It filters the information. That's why it's so important to have a router because if I'm being sent spam or anything else, the router knows it's spam and will simply discard it and will not pass it on through my network. So basically right now, 70. something that something that something is my internet address. It comes through my router and then it comes on my home network, which is the 192 network. So that's why it's so important to have a router because it protects your computer and it's such an important part of the network. And I will thank you guys and I'll leave you on this epic sax guys.